Okay, um, good morning. Um, right here with me, I've got um, the two gentlemen that's currently busy with the mixed counselling. Um, good morning, Clint. Good morning, Marlon. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Marlon. Um, I just wanted to know if you could perhaps just tell our viewers how you find the mixed counselling for people that's currently on drugs and involved with gang activity. Okay, for what my experience was with, with um, young uh, men and women, both are affected because uh, mostly we find young women coming on with their boyfriends or their brothers that are addicted to drugs and involved in gangsterism. And a lot of the times they need counselling and then um, we offer them the, 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 the service as well, as well as to, uh, we then in, encourage them to uh, let their brothers or, or, or their boyfriends um, also log on and then we can counsel them and then hopefully get them to the centre where we can do one-on-one -on -one counselling with them. Um, Brent, can you perhaps tell us of some of the kind of cases you have, some of the stories that, um, I mean, are there actually people that come out directly and saying, you know what, we've got a problem with drugs? Yes, um, usually we find like if people come online, they first usually ask what, what the, what the counselling is about, what, this, what the impact mix is about, and then we explain to them and then immediately afterwards they they come out and say, look here, I'm on, I'm on kick, I'm on drugs, I'm on dacha, or whatever the substance is they are on, they will, they will come out immediately and say, because there is a, a, there's a non-threatening atmosphere, because I don't know who I'm checking to, and they don't know, it's like, it's like totally anonymous, so they, so they don't feel threatened like in any way, and they feel comfortable to, 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 um, to yeah, just tell us that they are on drugs and, and, what, the, and what the problem is immediately. Um, in closing, Clinton, do you think if there was a service like this available, when you were on drugs, do you think um, it would have made a difference in your life? Um, it probably would have because uh, when you're on drugs, from my experience, you, you withdraw yourself from, from um, the community, you withdraw yourself from people who care about you and you would just want to be on your own. So um, having said that, you, you then do things that you don't need to involve other people like going on Mixit. And then, so if that service would have been available for me on Mixit, it might have been different. My life would have, might have not went so far down the way as it did go. So yes, this definitely can help and it, it would have helped me. Well, thank you, Clinton and Brent. Um, and looking forward to speaking to you again. Great, okay, thanks.